Hey everyone, Nick Dearbert is here teaching you financial modeling. Today we're going to be solving the lab exercise or adding scenario analysis to the Project One Excel model. So we have finished up talking about the scenario modeling material around Excel, and then we were tasked with this lab exercise to uh, add external scenario analysis to the Project One model. Thinking about modeling for the different situations of the economy, bad, normal, good economy, um, and changing around the initial demand and the price per phone in each of those economic cases where the demand and the price should be higher with the better economic conditions. So let's jump over to the project one model where we can go ahead and implement this. Um, so this process is really going to be exactly the same as what we did for the dynamic salary retirement model. So I'm going to go sort of quickly through it. Um, so here first I'm adding some additional space so I can go and add the um, scenario analysis inputs. Um, this is going to be the economic condition probabilities. Um, and we're going to have the bad and the good economy percentages. Um, and then we can build out the scenario analysis table um, where we have the economic condition. That's going to be bad, normal, good economy. Then we're going to have the expected outcome. And we're going to have the probability. We reference back over here for the probabilities. Um, and then we can do one minus each of the other probabilities to get the normal case. And then we want to line up our cases of the inputs next. So that's initial demand and price per phone. So initial demand, price, phone. Um, and then um, think about what makes sense. So normal, we can use our baseline values, 100,000 for demand. $500 for the price of the phone. Let's say in a good economy, we'll be able to get 750 for the phone, bad economy only 400. Um, and as far as demand, that'll be 70,000 in the bad economy and 150,000 in the good economy. Um, then we can go ahead and make our data table. So the data table will reference uh, the ultimate, ultimate result here, the MPV. Um, and then can um, put these same um, values of the inputs here. Um, so here, uh, where's paste transpose? There we go. Um, and then the price of the phone over here. And then we can make the data table. Row input cell is going to be the initial demand. Column input cell is going to be the price of the phone. Then we get the different MPVs here, and then we can put MPV here and just reference over to the table. So 470,000, 500 and 100,000, and 750 and 150,000. Um, and we will want to format all these things as currency. Uh, and we don't need any decimal places. Um, and then we can take the expected value as the probability fixed times the value plus next probability fixed times the value plus the final probability fixed times the last value. Um, and that will get us the expected value for each one of these. Um, so that's the whole process there. Of course, the other thing you would want to do is add formatting to all of these tables. <laughs> Um, which you should definitely look at the completed dynamic salary retirement model with scenario analysis on the course site for an example of the formatting, uh, but I'll leave it here in interest of time. So now we have the MPV in a bad economy, normal economy, and good economy, and an expected MPV across those cases based on the probabilities. And we can shift around the probabilities to shift around the expected value based on what we think is going to occur. So this is all set up appropriately. So thanks for listening and see you next time.